what's good guys welcome back to ron's rise welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where we can finally spec out these 2024 maseratis yes the configurator is live for 2024 maserati models and we're here today to whip up the craziest spec we can now you're probably wondering ron what are you talking about maserati has already had the 2024 gran turismo 2024 ghibli levante and quattroporte all in ultima you know forms what are you talking about 2024 as well the Halo car, the MC20 Coupe and MC20 Cielo are now finally available. The spec and configurator is live for the 2024 model year. First time. And we kind of want to go through this and see what Maserati's new Halo car is all about. I say new. 2020, since it has been debuted and you know first taking deliveries in 2022, the Maserati MC20 has been the next generation for Maserati's DNA has been the car that everybody's appraised in the automotive sector. Um, not appraised, they have praised. <laughs> they don't want to see how much it costs um, or how much it's worth, but they've praised it, says so many good things about it. This looks, this performance. They go to say Maserati is back. They're back to making their engines, supercars. They're making something that is very sought after and worth having in the lineup. And that was the MC20. So we had the Coupe. And now we have the Cielo convertible. Um, and really, it's just it's exciting to see these cars get so much love and, you know, and bring more eyes to the Maserati brand. People who might not have looked at it before are now looking at them because of the MC20 models. So now we need to know what's new, what's old, what can we change for the 2024 model year. So I figured we'd go through this blind test of specking one together. So I'm on Maserati USA's website. Keep in mind that in your country, different selections might be available i'm pretty sure over in europe you guys got all the good stuff so let's see what we have available for the 2024 model year here in the united states so kind of just wanted to go over it we have the mc20 and cielo so we're just going to start with the coupe see what we can spec up as you guys can see right here well hold on you can't see it because i gotta move my uh my uh face here but it is let me see there we go it is 2024 right here, as you guys can see. And then same performance. V6, 3 liter, 2.90 to 60, 202 mile power top speed, 621 horsepower, rear wheel drive. All right, so now I'm going to move myself back there and I'm going to hit configure. I have my face over here because I think all the good stuff is on the right hand side here. So let's see how it looks. Yes, Maserati, you can know my location, so you can track me down. Make sure I'm not spilling any of your secrets. All right, so let's start. It looks pretty much the same as we've seen um, in the previous years when it comes to design, so it doesn't seem like anything has changed standard. Now, we had some standard things change in the 2023 model year from 2022. Remember, it's only been out for two years, 22 and 23. From 22 to 23, the Maserati MC20 changed because it gave you a new color. Um, it gave you new wheel option, uh, two, one design, MMXX design, and then a fully carbon fiber MMXX design. It gave you the carbon fiber engine cover standard. It changed your start stop button on the steering wheel to blue. Um, it changed, I think, your paddle shifters as well. Um, gave you circular buttons and the light switches and everything. Your digital... Um, uh, not gate, not gear selector, but drive mode selector now. So you didn't have an analog or, you know, like a mechanical one. Now it's digital for the 2023 mod, uh, model year, as you guys can see here. Um, and yeah, here you go. The digital and then the blue button here. These were circular. And I think you got like automatically got carbon fiber on the steering wheel or like, I don't know, something like that happened. Um, but that was your bigger changes for the 2023 model year to 2022, which raised the standard price $15,000. So it went from 215,000 to 230,000 standard. So just base. Let's see what we're at right now. If it'll give us a price, it probably won't. Yeah. Uh, we'll just go to the bottom. Yeah. You have to request a quote and all that stuff. Yeah. It's not going to give us a price here. Um, so We'll see that once we review one and see the sticker. But to start, let's talk about what we have here as far as our color options. So our standard non-metallic colors are, and you know I'm going to butcher these names before we even get to it, guys. Before we even start it, disclaimer, 
I'm not going to say these names how I need to say them. Bianco Odotse, or Dos. I don't know. I never know how to say that. But that's your plain white. Let me go back. That you see. And I want to say plain, but like your white color. Your white color Maserati. If you see a white Maserati, it's this with that matte blue pearl in it. Rosso Vicente, which we've seen in red. It's a fiery red. Looks so good. Obviously, we've had all these colors on the channel. Giallo Corsa. Or sorry, Giallo Gino, which is beautiful yellow with that same blue pearl in there. You also have blue infinito, beautiful blue, metallic blue, and then you have Grigio Mistero, and that's gray. And I believe Grigio Incognito was new for 2023, and it's a lighter gray. Metallic colors. So I thought some of these were metallic. I mean, they're metallic to me. It's, oh, wait. So, whoops. I started off with metallic colors. My bad. Your standard now metallic colors, Grigio Incognito, as we were talking about. <laughs> there you go. So a lighter gray, as I said, and that was a new color. And Nero Ascenza. All right, so there you go. So those are your standard colors, now metallic colors. So I, I knew that was real. I was like, I thought these were metallic colors. So again, we're doing this just blind test together. I'm not even going to really edit this. So <laughs> you guys can see me screw it up. Um, but yeah, metallic versus non metallic colors. There you are right there. This is where it gets crazy. Fury Siri colors. Now, if you guys don't know, Fury Siri is Maserati's customization or app persona program. You can do basically anything to these cars. And as you guys can see, this palette, it is very rich in color. I got a chance to see a lot of these samples in person when I went to Miami in a Maserati uh, mansion, a house of Maserati. They invited me down to check out the cars, test drive, see all these paint samples, and I shared them on the channel. Insane. Let's see what we got. Verde Royale. We've seen this color before. Um, does not say the price. Blue Maserati. It's a dark navy blue. And let me know what you guys' favorite are so. Uh, are so. Orange Zest. I think we saw this on the Gracale, the space one, the Mission to Mars Gracale. I think they had it in Orange Zest. Blue Denim. We've seen Blue Denim Maseratis before. Um, we saw Levante Mona S we had on the channel. Urban Green. We've seen this before in the Levante and... I think it was, uh, what model was it? Crap. Siri Limitata, I believe it was Urban Green. Blue Graphite, I've not seen this color in person. It doesn't even look blue. It looks almost gray, so it'd be interesting to see that. Night Interaction, you guys know this color from the Note, the new Maserati Special Edition, the blackout one um, that they just did. Night Interaction is the exterior color, um, and then it has like the gold wheels, uh, matte gold wheels and the calipers and then the stitching and all that and the matte gold emblem. Um, so you guys know that one. Um, you've seen, you know, press shots of that. We all know Hyper Green. We've seen some Maseratis in that. Not necessarily on this channel, I don't think, but we've seen a lot of pictures of uh, Maseratis in uh, Hyper Green. So that is a real, a real thing, a real color. I'm trying to fix my hat. There we go. <laughs> a real color. Uh, we've seen out there in the wild. Oh, man, you know what? I think I had a hyper green. I went out to Miami and so on as well. A Zero Astro Matte. Not seen this in person. Looks really cool. Almost looks like a blue blue jean, kind of like the blue denim, but like more of a blue jean look. Uh, military Teal Matte. For you soldiers out there, uh, this one is going to be for you. Do the camo wrap to go with it. This looks really cool. Um, not necessarily something I would get for myself, but yeah. Bianco Alabastro. This looks very champagne ish. Looks very, I don't know, uh, very creamy, or shall I say. Now we're going to get to the real loud colors that is just insane. Digital Mint Matte. I've seen some pictures. If you guys uh, follow me on Facebook, I've seen some pictures of these. Uh, yeah, this is a real wild color. I would love to see one in person. Blue Corsa Matte, we've seen this in person because we reviewed one. One of my uh, friends on the channel has one um, and we went over their spec. It was such an amazing spec they did with their Blue Corsa Matte, so really cool. Rose Gold Liquid Metal, uh, there's a very famous photo of this going around. Uh, there's a couple of these or a couple of photos of these um, in Rose Gold that just looks phenomenal. Uh, definitely one I would like to see in person. Vintage Okra, now, this is this is like a cool looking orange. It's very kind of relaxed and chill. Um, reminds me of like a creamsicle orange. 
I'm not sure if I said the name right, but yeah. Powder Nude Texturized. I don't even know what, I mean, this looks a lot like the cream. Well, I don't want to say like the creamy color, but it looks like, uh, I want to say like makeup, like foundation makeup, you know, that you would put on your face. It looks kind of like that. And the Texturized should be very interesting. Another orange color, Orange Glow, which is very bright, very bright. Wow, this is looking very Halloween right here with this pack. Uh, so it's, it's a cool looking one. Aqua Rainbow, AI Aqua Rainbow. I'm not exactly sure what the AI means, but that looks really cool. Obviously, rainbowy. Um, you want to be seen, you're definitely going to get that. Aquamarina, we know this from the Primaceria edition. We've had this on the channel before. Such a stunning color. Wow, I've seen three Primaceries um, in person, or two or three, um, out of the 26 that came here to the States, 65 in general for that model, um, but they came with this paint. Incredible looking, hands down. If I could pick a paint, this would be the first one on the list. Bianco Adults Metallic. So instead of having the matte um, or metallic flake one, you know, with the matte blue in it, this is just the metallic one right here. Okay, so not the matte with the blue flake, which is metallic, unless this has blue flake. Good. Blue Victory. Very deep looking blue. Almost looks like a, I want to say like turquoise kind of like blue mixed with it. I don't know. This is look very, very interesting in person. Definitely very cool looking. Giallo matte. So this is matte yellow. This is going to look really cool. I really like the blue, the, the metallic blue flake, but this would look cool in a matte yellow. Uh, so this would be one of my top picks. Liquid Metal Matte. So this this looks really, actually, this looks really stealthy. Stealth Bomber here. I like that color. I like that color. Wow. This, see, this is too hard to pick. And then Bianco Pastello, which is cool. So that's kind of got like a racing birdcage livery with it. And you can do this to these cars. Look at the stripe down the center. You can do these to these cars already uh, with these Dreamline liveries down here. But this already gives it to you. That's really cool. Um, so let's pick a color for the coupe. I'm going to have to go with that liquid metal matte. I think the best... This will show the best with what I'm trying to do with it here today. So let's try it out. So let's go to the wheels. So your regular wheels are here and then your Fierce Surrey rims. So these are 20 inch birdcage design LO wheels. So we'll change the view to the wheels. Okay, we've seen these wheels before. And then these are the glossy Miron finish. Oh wait, hold on. So here, hold on. This is your 20 inch birdcage design here, right? There we go. And we were already on a 20 inch glossy. I was going to say that is the glossy. So just change it to glossy black. These are the 20 inch course of design forged wheels and matte dark middle and finish. All right, there we go. And then these are the old same wheels, but with a dark middle and cut finish. All right, and then these are those MMXX wheels that were new for 2023, carry over to 2024. They look really wild. Now, you should be able to get these in carbon fiber or one of these in carbon fiber, I think. Hold on. Okay, so we're going to our Fierce Siri rims, our specialty rims at Personum, and we have the Trident 20 inch gloss black. Okay, and the same wheels, but in machine polish. So I don't see the carbon fiber wheels. The machine polish looks good though. Look at that. That looks really good. So we should keep that wheel. That's a really cool looking wheel um, with that finish. But yeah, I don't see the carbon wheels. So I wonder if they got discontinued this year. Um, maybe not enough people bought the carbon wheels. Maybe they were too expensive. I haven't seen them in person. If somebody spec those out on a car, uh, call me so I can go see them. Uh, cause we might not see them ever. Um, so with this, I'm trying to do something like, and take advantage of the app persona program. So I don't want to necessarily do everything like by the book and play the spec to safe. Cause you know, I'm not buying this. Um, but the brake calipers, we have blue. We're going to go back to the wheel, wheel view. So we have blue paint, which looks really good. If I wasn't going with a wild spec, I would probably try that. We have gray. 
blends in. We have black. Very under the radar. We have red. Probably top choice for a lot of people with this kind of matte paint. We have yellow. Looks really cool. We have silver painted calipers with the black script. And then we have non painted calipers. There we go. All right. So let's see what our fierce Siri brick calipers look like. We got a couple colors here. One is new to me. Um, so Rosso Corsa, which is probably going to be a bright, bright red. Instead of a deeper red. Yep. Bright red. We have a uh, blue classic. So classic Maserati blue, probably. Yeah. That's that blue you would like to see on the MC 12 or the old logo. Um, lime. We've seen lime calipers before and they look really cool. This is new though. Anodized red, this kind of red. I think this is new. Uh, it's a darker red, but I think it's, I think it's pretty new. And then we have white, which I don't think I've seen white before. And I don't know if I would ever do that. That's, that's destined to get dirty. And then we have orange. So orange. Okay. So let's go with the orange. Let's try something else that pops out a little bit as whoops. Sorry. As far as the spec, I think it pops out. Yeah. Well, I still feel like that's too safe. Should we go with the lime green? Let's go with the lime green. Well, okay. So now I'm looking at the dreamline liveries and it doesn't look like I can do any of them because of my gray paint. Just way to, way to ruin my whole plan, Maserati. Way to ruin... All right. Well, now that I can't do that, let's change it up. So we're just going to go with... Hmm. Let's go in the... I feel like that's too basic. All right, guys. What about... Let's go with the orange glow. It doesn't look like it's going to give me the livery for a lot of these. I guess just for seeing it sake, let's go to just regular black. And it looks like I got a lot of liveries there. We'll keep with the green calipers. And then let's go with a couple of these liveries. So we have the bird cage, which we kind of saw there. This is not going to show up well on black, but let's check it out. Okay. I just not as bad as I thought the bird cage livery. Do it in red is definitely going to show up. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. We got some stripes. We could do it in red. Looks pretty cool. We cannot do it in gray. We have um, double stripes in Bianco. Then we have double stripes in blue and Blema. Blue and Blema. All right. Then we can't do this option in gray, which is an MC12 competition livery. But this is also MC12 competition livery, and we can do it in white. All right, so it looked very MC12-ish for sure. The predecessor to this car. Um, livery, asymmetric, Rosso Corso. So I think there's going to be like a half and half. From, yeah, yep, asymmetric. So one side. Yeah, because that mirror is red on that side, and then the other side on the driver's side is black. Yeah, so this is going to be real cool looking. Um, not for everybody, but still pretty cool. You could do that same livery in blue. Oh, turquoise. Sorry, not turquoise. Blue. Uh, aqua. Aqua. And then this is cool. The Tipo 151 Rosso Corsa and Blue Emblema livery, but we can't do it. We can do this MC12 Tributo Fury Series. We can do this MC12 Special livery here. That's cool with the side graphics. All right. I like that. That's really cool. And then we got green, hyper green to go with the calipers. Wow. Could you imagine seeing this? That'd be wild. All right. And then we got Birdcage Bianco Alabastro. Oh, wow. So that goes on top. That goes on top of this livery. Wow. Oh, and with a stripe. So you have the green and then the stripe with the birdcage up front. All right, let's keep it. We're trying to do something crazy. Well, and then you can do the Fierce Series logo. So you get asked to the quarter panel. 
Yep, right here. Yep. Fear City logo. All right. And then no livery. Okay, that's what we're going with so far. It's not the prettiest looking thing, but I just wanted to do something out of the box. Now, looking at this, this is kind of breaking news. The engine cover is, it's plastic. Did we not get the carbon fiber engine cover standard anymore? And if so, did they lower the price to account for that? Let's see. We gotta keep going because we might we might be able to um to fix it to the point to where we can add it, but it was already standard before, so we'll see. All right, so interior colors. Let's go to our interior view. So I, whoops. So obviously we're in black. Why why is it doing that? I just want to go up. Okay, there we go. All right. Oh, okay. Is it automatically gonna? Wow, guys. All right, there we go. Automatically have Nero. Kuyo. Love it. Blue. That's pretty, that's a nice deep blue. I'm not sure if we had that in a previous model year, but I do like that blue. Neo Grigio. Neo Rosso is gonna have the stitching with it. Yep, Neo Giallo is gonna have the stitching with it. Nero Cuyo is going to have the stitching. Oh, I love that. I love that razor etch. And you're going to have the same thing in blue here. Yeah, when those seats came out, I was like, damn. And then Giaccio. And that's done in white. Uh, F it. Let's keep it in white. Insert design. Giaccio there. Insert colors for Fear Series. So we got... We got a bit more. So let's see what we got for Coolio for your Siri. All right. Just brown leather seats. Orange. Oh, I love the orange. Love the orange. Uh, yellow. So you can do anything with this car, guys. It's crazy. Oh, gosh. Those look so good. Terracotta here. That's really cool looking. Really, really cool looking white. Oh man, I would have a problem if I had money. If I had money, I would not be able to do this. No way. Should probably. I'm probably in a way move my head over here. Look at that. That's cool. That's Grigio Terracotta. Neo Terracotta. That's pretty cool. Lime, which would go very well with our spec here. Oh, <laughs> nuts. Aqua. Nice. Blue Mandarin. Ooh, I like that. Very American spec with the red, white, and blue. I feel like we could do an American spec. Orange for your Siri. Ooh, those are the carbon seats, the uh, the carbon bucket seats, I believe, the racing seats. That's cool. And then blue, so you could probably get the, the racing seats in blue as well. Ooh, those look cool. I'm keeping those. I am keeping those. Bet. Now the trim, can't change the trim. It's carbon fiber. Um, you can do a deco trim, but it's not option with uh, what we have here. So there we go. That's it, guys. So as far as our look here, it's <laughs> all over the place. But man, it looks cool what we can do with this thing. Now, let's talk about options because I'm really curious about that engine cover because I thought it was cool. It came in carbon. So interior carbon fiber package. We already have that with the column mounted, column mounted power shifters and carbon fiber door sills. The exterior carbon fiber package, which in the previous model year, 2023, $39,000, but you got the dark exhaust tips, carbon fiber front splitter, carbon fiber rear diffuser, under door and fender sill inserts, and the carbon fiber and the carbon fiber hood. Let's add it. Why not? Interior carbon package. Again, we already have that. So it has it twice here. This one, though, is the clus cluster cap, the column mounted paddle shifters, and carbon fiber door sills. This one's just a. Okay, so this one just adds the cluster, cluster cap at the top. 
ADAS package, which is your uh, 360 surround view, protection, recognition, and traffic sound recognition. That's just your driver assistance. And then here we go. Well, 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 well. First, there's a black roof, which we already have on here, so it must come standard, so you can remove it. Look at that carbon fiber engine cover. Now it's an option for 2024. So you 2023 nerds, you got the carbon fiber right off the bat. Now it's an option for the engine cover. So let's see if we change, if I change it to here now for the engine cover view, it should be in carbon. Yup. Whoa. Would you look at that? All right. So there's that. All right. So, uh, let's go back. Carbon fiber spoiler. We'll add that. Carbon fiber hood. We already have that in the package. Sonos fiber. It's high Italian. High, sorry, high premium sound system with 12 speakers, but it is Italian. Dark exhaust tips. We have in the package. Body color roof with livery. Fierce Siri. Oh, let's add that and see what it does. And then you can do the carbon fiber roof as well. There's more options. The Stitch Trident, we already have that. Heated front seats, not available, probably because we have the racing seats. Stainless steel door sill, Maserati script, probably not available because I believe ours is in carbon fiber. Navigation system, you have to add. Extended Alcantara, not available, probably with our spec. Miles speedometer, not exactly sure what that is. Let's check. Yeah, I don't, that's, there's no explanation. Two-way manual, two-way power, power, monocoque lightweight seats. We already have that. Full premium Alcantara leather and Chevron design. Nope, because we already got the sport seats. Carbon fiber back, probably because it comes with the sport seats. Rear trunk mats. Rear, sorry, rear front trunk mats. We can add that. Fierce series leather configuration. Fierce series monochromatic leather seat configuration. Those are both not available. Fierce series Backing color configuration, not available. Power adjustable steering column, not available. Auto dimming exterior mirrors, add it. Security alarm system, got to protect it. Uh, E-limited slip diff, add it. Common ceramic brakes, remove, are they standard? Okay, so if the common, common ceramic brakes are standard, I believe that's $10,000. So I wonder what the price of this is going to be if the carbon ceramics come standard. Because it says remove. I never added them. And then your Maserati driving experience. I did a whole video on that where you can take it around the track, do all this kind of stuff with it. Really cool if you got money to do that. Um, so... Curious, I guess the hood or the roof is the same as my livery here. Um, I added the spoiler in the back and carbon. Doesn't help. Let's just change the color so we can see the pops. Yeah, so you can see the carbon liveries at the top. All right, so there's our 2024 MC20, guys. Um, A little conflicted, you know, obviously again, for someone who's not buying one, I shouldn't be too uh, upset that the carbon fiber engine cover does not come standard and the carbon ceramics are automatically on there. Uh, but something to note for anybody who is uh, getting into one of these cars, I keep pressing back. I was just hoping that it would take me back to um, the configurator, but let's go to models. CLO. Oh, well, shoot. I probably should have went the models. CLO, build your own. And then we'll just do uh, this one briefly because it's basically going to be the same stuff um, as far as everything goes. And I've already had you guys here for a half hour. Holy crap. Where'd the time go? All right. Same exact specs. This is pretty important to know that the convertible is the exact same or performance as the coupe you do you lose nothing at all when it comes to performance by dropping your roof but you got to pay thirty thousand dollars extra now in my opinion again for somebody who doesn't can't afford it it's still worth it to me because this thing is sexy and what's better than a maserai supercar one without a roof and you could put the roof on it have the polymer dispersed liquid crystal glass press of a button transparent to opaque in minutes or sorry minutes seconds you can put down the roof and up and down 13 seconds like 
as worth the 30 grand to me. But again, who's asking? So all this should be the same, but deliveries are going to be a little different. So I'm not going to touch. Let's see. We're just going to go with white. Cause I want to do a lot of these liveries cause you see this trident here. That's important because you only get this trident down here. Well, hold on. I got to move my face again. Sorry guys. <laughs> All right. Cause you only get this trident down here with the CLO. So this is specific to this car. Um, everything else, metallic colors for your series colors are all the same. So let's just do effort. Let's just do now nah, that's two. Let's do the no limit. Let's do the no limit soldier military spec. The wheels are the same. So let's go with the Corsa forged wheels. Actually, let's do a black. Keep it with that military spec. All right. Yeah, that looks super dope. And you can see that we do have the top down. Now I can put the top up. This was the press of a button. And there it is. So, so you can see the glass there. So the top is up with the press of a button. So you can see what it looks like with the top up. So right now we'll keep it up um, for, for specific reasons. Brake calipers. What do we do? We do green. Let's do orange now. Let's do orange. Green and orange spec. That already looks pretty cool. Uh, and then the liveries. So what I want to really pay attention to is, well, shoot, we can't even do the ones we tried to do last time. A lot of these we could do, but just not the gray ones. But I want to do the birdcage livery. God dang it, guys. Not birdcage, the Tipo livery. What 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 color do I have to have to do that? Oh, I guess white. They're making this really, really plain for me to do this. All right, let's do this. Let's just do it for the livery. Just to see what this Tipo livery looks like. Yeah, that looks cool, right? The Tipo livery. Oh, I love the pinstriping. That looks cool. All right. That looks dope. We got to admit. All right. Let's keep that. Let's keep that for now. Let's keep it. I'm a sucker for it since we couldn't do it. Here's so something you need to note. This are Trident tunnel covers, and these are going to go right here. All right. So if I do red, which makes sense for this spec. It's going to go right over the top of here. So then once you flex and put up your top or down your top, the title cover will come up and it will show the big Maserati Trident. Uh, so let me hit it again because it did not click it. Oh, it changed me. Okay. So let's go back to the view. It didn't want it. It didn't want us to see it change. Yeah. Look at that. That looks dope, right? So you got your flex Trident there to flex on the haters and then put it back down. Um, so you can do that in blue. Why does it make me go back each time? Okay. Yeah. Blue. You could do it in green. <laughs> uh, Maserati fix your dang configurator. You can do it in black. We can't do it in Grigio. Some of them, they just don't let you do with these specs and you can do it in aqua. <laughs> All right. So. Obviously red makes the most sense. Now let's put the top down and check it out. Yeah, that is sick. And I do like the view here with the top down and up. So you can see the Alcantara and the glass there as well from the inside too. Really cool. All right. So let's go to the inserts. For the seats, because we can change the trim out. Oh, we still can't do that trim. So yeah, it's going to be carbon fiber, high gloss. Insert design. Let's see what we got for seats here. Uh, so yeah, the same seats as before. Guess what? I got the perfect. I'm going to move my head again. I have the perfect spec. 
right here. Come on. Drum roll. Bam. Is that not the most perfect spec miles of riding setup you've seen? Check that out. With the blue and red and the blue and red. Woo boy. I love that. My calipers probably should be, should be red. Let's let's probably change those over. Or you could do blue or black. But yeah, that's that's pretty sick, guys. Ooh, that's pretty sick. Oh my god, love it! All right, I, I'm going pretty safe with these specs. My thumbnail is probably going to show something different. I probably uh, will go a little bit crazier. But yeah, so. The packages looks like they're the same carbon fiber, carbon fiber, driver assistance, dark exhaust tips, the trident on a tunnel cover, obviously that's only for this yellow here. And, um, we've already kind of adjusted that the CLO badge. You can add the CLO badge. Interesting. So it doesn't come with that. Hmm. So yeah, it's pretty plain there. So let's add it because that's specific to the convertible here and let's see what it looks like. And it doesn't pop up unless I didn't press it. I thought I hit add. I did. So it doesn't show it here. Well, oh, God, never mind. Um, but you know what this yellow badge looks like. It shows it. Um, everything else looks the same here as far as all the other options go. You don't have the driving experience. You can see the carbon ceramics are already added and let's see the engine cover. Uh, obviously this doesn't have an engine cover because if you guys watch my video on the CLO, it's a big metal plate heat shield over the engine bay because obviously you can't see the engine cover under that sheet. So, uh, that sheet metal. So yeah, you still get the carbon ceramics automatically. And you know, now that we're talking about it, you guys can see them here. Those are carbon ceramic brakes, $10,000. It might be more on this model, but yeah, I love this spec. What do you guys think? You love it. You hating my spec. Sorry guys. I've kept you so long. Oh my God. I just had to take a look at what the new 2024 models were all about. Some options, some options added, some taken away at the end of the day. It's still a bad ass Maserati, no matter what you put on it, no matter how you spec it, no matter how it comes out of the box. This is, this thing is chef's kiss. This yellow would definitely be one that I would love to have. And I know I said Aquamarina is my spec, but man, I love that look, but changes to Aquamarina. Look at that. Woo. Uh, hold on. Ah. And then the aqua seats to go with it. Come on, oh, orgasmic, orgasmic guys. Ooh, with the red tunnel cover. Oh, guys, I'm going to go and dream away and figure out a way to make this happen for myself one day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you check the links in the description. If you guys want to further support the channel, hit that like button, subscribe, notification bell. Guys, you can be blessed. You might as well writing owners for the MC20s. I'm a jealous. I'm going to go sulk. You guys have a great day. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.